Hey everyone, to the Collect Jurassic. I'm finally back doing reviews. I'm here today with something really exciting. As you can see, this awesome Jurassic Park 30th anniversary box. It's been a while since I've unboxed something. If you can tell, I'm kind of in a new space now. I moved recently. Uh, I've been setting up my collection room. Still have a lot to, lot to go, but you can see, at least behind the box, right, you can see that I have a decent amount set up, but I finally back on it with reviews because this thing that came in the mail today is just way too cool not to share. This is a Jurassic Park 30th anniversary kit from Toy Monster, part of their captives line for the Jurassic Park 30th anniversary. This box is super cool. It's got the Jungle Explorer artwork all over it. You got the Toy Monster logo right there. I love this Jurassic Park 30th anniversary logo. I don't even think I've talked about it on the YouTube channel yet because it's been so long, but I mean, how cool is this logo with the classic banner falling off of it and my favorite version of the Jurassic Park logo, the yellow logo. Of course, a lot of people say the red is the classic and they would be right, but that yellow logo is where it's at. And I also love this artwork they have on the side of the box too, these sort of like pop art-esque um, like recolorings of the dinosaurs. You have the T-Rex, I think this is from Lost World, this render, um, but it's recolorizing. You have some Jurassic World raptors over there and the back is just black. So not, not much going on there, but the front is like the real, you can hear all the stuff clunking around in there, but the front is the real showstopper with this logo and that um, Jungle Explorer red stripes with the green gradient. Oh, so cool, so classic. I love the aesthetic that um, Universal has chosen for Jurassic Park 30th anniversary with the merchandise and everything. It looks great here too, but without further ado, let's go ahead and open this box up. It's rattling a lot in there, so I'm guessing the stuff's sort of loose, so we'll kind of put it together as we take it out. So let's pop this front lid open. Looks like there's a little graphic here. Um, which dinosaur will you find? I'm hoping we find a lot of dinosaurs in here. And then inside the box, ooh, let me see if I can pull it up for the camera. We have a, um, a full kit of the mystery eggs. Look, it looks like there's 18 to collect. Maybe the box has 18, we'll have to wait and see. Um, also, there's a big large egg inside, this uh, surprise mega egg. Um, we'll go ahead and take a look at these items inside, but let's, let's keep talking about this box because um, it's just got such cool artwork. Let me carefully, looks like we got a little um, thing from Toy Monster here. Um, 1993 is calling and the awesome, and the answer is roar, I love that. Um, so just kind of um, talking about uh, what's what this collection's about and how I can share it with all y'all. Let me go ahead and lift this case box out really carefully. Make sure it doesn't spill out everywhere. Whew. And then I think, ah, I think I think all the eggs made it out alive. Yeah, let me put this aside real quick. We'll definitely take a look at it. Um, but let's look at this box. Look at this background here with the classic sunset gradiating up. Looks so cool. In the inside of the box, you have some some paper, some black and yellow paper, but it also has this cool banner that goes around it that says Jurassic Park since 1993. Um, really cool. I mean, that background is everything. Look at that background. I love it. And then you have also have these uh, these little um, renders of Parasaurolophus, Brachiosaurus, all that. Looking closely at these, it's kind of funny. They're like, what's that? Is that a Gallimimus? This looks like the Mattel Parasaurolophus. Some of these pteranodons aren't even in the movies. Interesting, interesting choice for graphics they got there. But um, I guess maybe there's captives figures of them all. So they're they're uh, all represented there. So let's go ahead and close this lovely box for now. Um, and now that we have the goodies out that are inside, so we can close that and we'll shut it. Maybe we'll kind of try to use it as our nice little backdrop here for what's next. We also have, as like I said, we have this mega egg. Um, I actually uh, tracked down a couple of these in Walmart already. Um, inside they have a big figure that's kind of like all trapped in little pieces. Um, I don't think I'm gonna have time to unbox this one today. We're gonna focus on these little ones, but these are really cool and I, I will try to cover them at the end of the video. Um, these bigger figures, but these little figures are all new to me. So I'm real excited about those and I'm, I'm getting the actual whole case box here, which you can see it's kind of been tossed around. So let me just get it organized and, and pretty looking and camera ready. I like to do things sort of in one take here, so I won't make you wait. It looks like there's all together 12 eggs. So if there's 18 figures to collect, that means I have some work to do. Um, so let's go ahead and carefully put that tray back inside. Again, without spilling more eggs, perfect. 
Can I get it? Um, this is a really cool display. I know that they've been popping up at Walmart. I've never seen it until today. Um, <clears throat> but it's a really, really cool display with this Jurassic Park artwork on there. And this, this box that um, Toy Monster and Playwise so graciously sent me um, <clears throat> includes at least 12 eggs. 18 to collect, so we'll see what we got here. But yeah, the, the the display itself is really cool. Of course, it's got all that awesome artwork I've already been ranting and raving about all over it. With the jungle pattern, the silhouette. Talks about how you reveal the figures and build them and battle them. Looks like there's one exclusive baby raptor to find. And on the back, we also have the, um, the full breakdown of everything. Um, with T-Rex, Velociraptor, Perseus, Velociraptor, Gallimimus, Triceratops, Dilophosaurus, and Brachiosaurus. That's only that's only nine different ones. So I don't know. I guess we'll see. <laughs> I guess we'll see what's inside. There's 18 to collect all together. So um, we'll find out. Pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and pop one of these eggs open. Take a look at the figures inside. I mean, that's what it's all about. Um, this this video is definitely. I want to take a good look at these figures and kind of talk about how how they've honored Jurassic Park um, with these items. Um, so go ahead and pop this little tag up. I'm not not an amateur when it comes to opening these captives eggs. If you've watched my Dominion captives review, I, I opened up a bunch of eggs in that video too. Took me a while, but um, one of the things I like about the way they do these captives is you don't have to wade through slime anymore. They used to make them say there was no getting at the figure um, without getting your hands dirty. But now every, every little... Um, kit comes with the slime separately packaged um dare i say amazingly packaged with this classic jp logo i mean this right here is a collector item for me it might just be a bag of slime but look at that logo inside i mean that is that's so cool it's so simple too we got red and then the figure itself comes in yellow classic jurassic colors you can't get better than that so slime is packaged separately from the figure so if we open up this figure and carefully, it looks like we got, ooh, Dilophosaurus. We also have, hoping his tail's in there somewhere because it's not there. There it is. Whew. I have opened up a couple of these and had missing pieces. So always makes me nervous. <clears throat> and then the tail just pops on there. You rotate it around the right way. There's Dilophosaurus with that classic frill coloring on it. I mean, I would recognize that frill color anywhere. That is the classic Jurassic logo. Um, pretty cool. The paint wise is that the paint is definitely excellent. This guy's sculpt. It was for Dominion. It's a little, little questionable for a Jurassic Park Dilophosaurus, but the paint coloration is probably what sells it more than the figure itself. And does this guy say, yeah, he stands up quite nicely. Look at that. So he comes up in this little gold egg, which, um, if you've collected as many captives as I've had, you've had probably hundreds of these eggs at this point. Um, so yeah, we got the slime. Gonna go ahead and throw that aside too. Um, and then inside you got a little booklet um, that tells you everything you can collect. Does this have 18? No, this also only has nine. So I guess we'll see what's inside all these eggs. Then we get a little miniature collection card. Look how tiny it is. It's like a miniature version of a card. I love it. Got this awesome artwork on it. Hooting Horror. You can see Nedry in the background, Dilophosaur in the foreground. Um, this is actually, um, all this artwork is from a uh, from an, another Jurassic community member who I think was, um, you know, contracted to do the artwork on all these cards that we'll hopefully get to check out. And he did an amazing job. I mean, just really, um, you know, moody. Uh, definitely feels like it's from the movie. And also like sort of an original scene too that you didn't see in the movie, which that stuff's really cool to me when we get to see like a part of the the film that maybe wasn't in the movie or part of the park. So um, really nice job on this uh, this card artwork. So there's Dilophosaurus, first egg out the gate. We got a classic uh, a carnivore from the first movie. Let's go ahead and open up another one. I am curious of, of these 12 eggs, how many repeats I'll get, um, if any, but I guess we'll see. Um, again, it says there's 18 to collect, but there only has about nine on the checklist. So I do think there's another wave of these coming. Maybe that's what they mean. But in, in any case, I'm guessing there'll be some uh, guessing there'll be some repeats. So same drill as before. We got the slime. We got the egg. And we won't go over this every single time. We'll go ahead and get right to the figures. You know that's what everyone here wants to do. Um, so 
Looks like, oh, looks like I got a T-Rex. Pretty awesome. So go ahead and uh, put him together. Um, the classic Jurassic Park T-Rex. None of that weird Jurassic World light brown colors. This thing's got a lot more going on um, kind of detail-wise and pattern-wise. I got these cool stripes, this excellent wash. I love his little painted white teeth he has too. Really nice detail. You can see his little painted eye. Really cool. Probably my favorite Captus Rex they've done so far. Um, still has the little silver T-Rex mark on it too. Yeah, that's a, that's a cool one. I really like that one. Um, really cool paint job on T-Rex. So we got T-Rex and Dilophosaurus. We're doing great, everybody. Let's go ahead and take a look at... There's no way I'm going to get these to stay standing up this whole review, but we'll do our best. And then we have the T-Rex Terror in the mirror. It looks like it's in the mirror with the little roaring. I love the little motion effect too. Looks like there's an explosion behind him too. I don't remember that part, but a really cool card. This card's really flat too. The Dilophosaur card was definitely kind of bended, but this one came really flat, which is nice. But um, I'll put these all under some books and, and flatten them out. I love how teeny and tiny they are. They're, they're not standard card size. They're, they're teeny tiny cards. That's fun. Um, go ahead and open another egg, see what we get. We're on a roll here with, with new species. We're also on a roll with me not um, struggling to open the eggs. Sometimes, especially on camera, these eggs can prove to be really, really, really difficult to open. But like I said, I'm on a roll tonight, so let's just keep it going. Get the slime out of the way. Go straight for the good stuff. I just love this yellow, yellow bag. It's just almost too perfect to open, almost. Of course, I am going to open it because I want to get the figures inside. Oh, this is cool. We have the Parasaurol Office. Um, do you recognize this coloration from Lost World? I would recognize that anywhere. Um, that like light brown, the darker darker stripes on the back. Pretty fun. Um, this is, you know, Cactus has done in a Parasaurol Office, but not definitely not in this colorway. And that looks really cool. The Dominion colorway was really interesting, but nothing beats the classic uh, Lost World Parasaur Lapis for me. So nice detail on him. Get the little black eyes as well. His card is uh, Parasaur Lapis Dinner Time. So that's cool. Nice park worker feeding a Parasaur Lapis with the, the paddock fences in the background. That's super fun. Again, I love those peaks of like the park we never got to see um, in the movie. So making a nice little stack of collector's cards here. On to the next egg, still no doubles. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. I'd, I would like to get the gold the gold egg if I could, the gold uh, raptor egg. We'll, we'll definitely see what happens. I wouldn't be crushed if I didn't get it, but it'd be cool to get it. Um, all right, see, I told you sometimes these eggs are sort of a struggle, but I still feel like we're making good time here. Okay, all right, let's open up this one, see what's inside. Looks like we got, that's Triceratops. Ooh, a little Triceratops, very nice. Um, you know, the Captive's Triceratops has always been one of my favorites. Ugh, this guy's head won't go on. Um, it's a really cool, detailed little figure. Ooh, this guy's going to be hard to... Hard to build. I can tell from both ends. His, his um, there. His tail just went in. Let's see if we can get his head on a little bit tighter. Yep, there we go. Just takes a little bit of force. Good luck, kids, <laughs> using your your hand strength on this one. Um, that's the Triceratops. It's it's technically it's the Jurassic World Triceratops. I mean, they have a very um, totally different look than Jurassic Park. However, they did give it that like cool bluish gray dirty wash on this that does make it feel like a Jurassic Park Triceratops, which is fun. Um, so there's Trike, another herbivore. It's card, Triceratops family time. We got the Jeep number 12 with the Triceratopses kind of like feeding in the background. Again, another fun little look around the park. I would like to take all of these cards <laughs> that are about like the park open during happy times and make that into a show of some sort. So Universal... Make that happen and uh, and hire this guy to do your storyboards because um, some really cool scenes happening there. And then we're going to go jump into the next egg. Again, we're on a roll. We've covered um, most of the film's iconic species. I still have to grab a raptor at some point. But, um, but we got to Spitter, Rex, T-Rex, and Triceratops. Who's it going to be next? We'll see. It's looking like... 
looking like, oh, Gallimimus. I forgot all about this one. Heck yeah. This is cool. Um, I, th I think this is an all new Captus figure. This isn't even like a repaint. The, the rest of these so far have, have come out at some point. Um, well, since Captives has done Jurassic figures, but not this Gallimimus. And I can already tell that I am a huge fan of this figure. Look at this thing. This is beautiful. Um, he's got the delicate little proportions, nice long legs and neck and all that. Perfect paint de deco from the movie. Got the little beady yellow eye there. I mean, it's, it's a small figure, but it's amazingly detailed. Definitely my favorite I've unboxed so far. It's even got the lighter underbelly there. It's also got the card, the racing with Gallimimus. This reminds me of the Game Boy game. There's totally like a scene like that. This is JP14, the Jeep. I, I noticed the trike is JP12, so different Jeep in here. I love the different color variations too in the Gallimimus herd. So that's a cool one. Probably my favorite so far. Nice little classic Jurassic Park Gallimimus. I mean, these are so cool. They're literally hitting every species from the movie. Um, and they're, they're doing a pretty good job with the uh, paint coloration too. So next egg we got is still haven't hit a repeat yet. I'm feeling really good. I feel like I'm dice are on fire. I've got another original one. This one looks like a Velociraptor. So very good. Another unique one. So we'll build the raptor here. I recognize this sculpt though from the other captives. This looks like it was blue with his head turned behind him, but now he's been repurposed into, or she's been repurposed into Velociraptor. Really cool paint colorations on this raptor. Um, sort of tigerish. Um, really, really cool. Look at that, that patterning and stuff. That is so cool. I really wish Mattel would do a raptor with this kind of paint budget and detail because it's a Jurassic Park raptor. I mean, it's one kind of, um, you know, realization of it. I mean, what a beautiful paint job on this raptor. It doesn't even matter that it's technically blue. It looks like a Jurassic Park raptor with that paint coloration, even with the mold. Um, really, really cool. Wow. Awesome. I'm sure the card is just as cool. Yep. Just as cool. Raptors breaking out of the cage. So cool. Um, this must be from, like, the movie when they're, you know, breaking out to go kill Ray Arnold and, and Muldoon. So, right, we got T-Rex, we got Raptor, we got Gallimimus, we got Dilophosaurus. Who's left? Br Brachiosaurus, maybe? Go ahead and remove our egg tray and get to this bottom row. See what we got here. I can't believe we haven't hit any doubles, but maybe there's just that many different eggs in here. I don't know. We'll see. I, all I know is that I am... Very happy that I have gotten so many unique eggs so far. All right, slime. And then we got a figure in here. Let's open it up. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got the exclusive metallic Velociraptor egg. I'll take it. Oh my gosh, this is so fun. It's literally an empty golden egg, right? Um, just an empty golden egg. And then the raptor, baby, little baby raptor, look at him. He's completely free saying He's like a little raptor Buddha. Look at that. He's just sitting there. That's so funny. And, and there's a little indentation in the egg. I don't know if you can see that, where his butt fits in. He goes, boop, right there. There he is, the gold velociraptor. It's like a little totem or something. I love it. I love that it's not one sculpted piece, but like the raptor literally goes in and out. That's super fun. It's like a little cup too. Um, that's a neat little guy. I mean, for, for it being so small, it's got a lot of... Oops. It's got a lot of fun little detail. I'd love to see it painted. I think there's a painted version of this um, somewhere. So that's the Velociraptor. I love how he shakes around inside and you can cradle him in your hand. Um, so sweet. Well, that's that's an accomplishment, getting the, the rare exclusive one. Or is it rare? I don't know. It's exclusive. That's all it says. Oh, this is a card I haven't seen yet. I mean, I've seen a couple of these on the internet, but I haven't seen these little baby raptors. Look at that. Um, all running around. I love their giant heads. A little cartoony, but they, that's probably how the babies would look, right? They'd have big old heads. So um, you got the big raptor mom foot in the background. So pretty fun. All right. Doing great. Got an exclusive egg. Love to see it. Let's keep going. See what else is inside. Gosh, getting these started is, is tough, but once you get them going, they rip right off at least. Come on. 
Oh, see, I told you I, I've, been, I've been having good luck getting these off, and now I've hit one I can't. Okay, relatively small delay here. Here we go, opening up another figure. Could this be my first repeat? Yes, it is. It is the Dilophosaurus. Very good. Um, that's pretty fun. A nice Dilophosaurus with another Dilophosaurus card. Um, but uh, I won't. I won't make everyone listen to my my review of him twice. But cool. Got a second Dilophosaurus. Now we got a couple spitters here. Pretty fun. Go ahead and set him over there, and we'll head to the next egg. Keep things moving. Oh, that Dilophosaurus fell down already. I'm gonna wonder if the rest of these will be repeats or if I'll still if I still have some original ones to um, uncover. What do you think? I feel like there's a Brachiosaurus in this line that I can at least uncover. I mean, that's like the main species I'm missing at this point. Is we're talking about just dinosaurs that were in the first movie. We're we're missing that one. Man, this egg this egg won't go won't go won't open. It's like I'm getting weaker the more eggs I open. There we go. All right, let's see. What do we think? New figure, repeat. Let's take a look. I can't tell when I'm feeling the egg. I can tell you that much. It's just, oh yes, we got a Brachiosaurus. Very good. Um, got the card with that one too. I think there's another piece in here though. I don't want to throw my bag on the floor. Yep. So Brachiosaurus has a tail. Oh, the coloration on this one is cool. Oh man, this is cool. Brachiosaurus is one of my favorite Captus figures. They did it, they did it in one of the Jurassic um, Cramp Cretaceous waves, I think. And this one looks awesome. It's the Jurassic Park Brachiosaurus. They got the gray wash perfectly. Look at his little head there. Adorable. Classic. I mean, look at the detail on the paint wash on this. You see the skin? I mean, it's so wrinkly. It's so cool. Hopefully in 4K you can appreciate the, the detail there. So Brachiosaurus. And then the card, of course, walking trees. I think that's from the, the novel, maybe, when he thinks they're trees that are walking. So there's um there's a Brachiosaurus. I just noticed these cards have, like, printed stress lines on them. Like, see how it looks creased? It's not actually creased. They're just made to look distressed. Every card has, like, has them in this different places. Um, that's kind of fun. They made them look aged on purpose. Got a nice little card collection here at this point too of all these different cards reminds me of collecting the kinder cards um that they used to do but instead they're they're miniaturized but i'm gonna have to find some card sleeves for these because um i want to keep them looking nice but they are made of really sturdy material it's not even like paper it's kind of like a, <coughs> kind of like a plasticky paper but all right sorry getting too excited about the cards let's get to these last three eggs see what we can uncover right now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different, um, eight different dinosaurs. Nine, if you count the, um, right? Am I counting that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, sorry, I have nine. I have eight with two Dilophosaurus makes nine. Um, I think there's nine unique figures altogether. So somewhere in here, there's still one more figure to collect. If I can get this open telling you the deeper i get into this these eggs the harder they become to open or something um there we go just gotta get it started that they make these like perfectly sealed so there's no accidentally opening them they they don't do it they don't do it lightly and then oh drop that egg um what do we got in here let's see how can i open this up oh we got the the actual velociraptor egg he looks interesting he looks almost <laughs> he almost looks like uh he's got some sort of skin condition he's very light i wonder if he's got oh look he's like unpainted isn't that interesting i wonder if he's supposed to be like that he's got a little bit of color on him but not a lot i'll have to check other people's pictures out of this guy maybe he's supposed to look maybe it's supposed to be like egg goo or something it does look like a jurassic park raptor so he fits he's got a nice little textured painted egg he fits right inside it, just like the golden one. Yeah, I do think he's supposed to look like that. Like he's supposed to have some sort of like egg goo on him. So I got, I got the, um, I got the regular raptor and the baby raptor. I got the gold one and the regular one. Same exact figure, just a different paint de decor. So 
cool another raptor i think the egg for him is going to be the same i think it's literally the exact same exact same one i mean they're they're the same egg but one has gold on the back and one doesn't so technically unique a unique cards if you're into that which i am so i will keep both of those um all right two more eggs what do we got here so far only one repeat and that's dilophosaurus super fun um okay go ahead and peel this back and we got inside who do we got who do we got one more figure opening it up and it is another t-rex cool i'll take it i like t-rex so all day um got another t-rex in here same t-rex as before i think that makes sense if they're gonna overpack a figure they should overpack t-rex and probably um probably dilophosaurus that's probably a, a fair call so another t-rex another re repeated figure but um out of all the figures so far just dilophosaurus t-rex and we're down to our very last egg i appreciate everyone sticking it out with me to see what we get it, it's been new new figures until the bitter end here so let's see if our last figure is going to be something new or just one more repeat we'll take a look inside and see and then we'll talk about these big eggs over here because we want to talk about those they do have a couple of those to show off i'm just not going to open one live on camera but we can definitely look at the figures inside um what do we got here looks like a another gallimimus i'll take it i love this gallimimus i'm totally down for that that's awesome okay well it is a repeated figure but it's one that i'm all too happy to have a second version of whoa and i threw him on the ground still it's another gallimimus his legs are kind of bent together but they'll stretch out another gallimimus i'm okay with that i mean they're they're herd animals right we want a herd of gallimimus so let's do it so we got two different gallimimuses in this set so out of this whole case of 12 eggs um i got an extra dilophosaurus extra t-rex and an extra gallimimus so not too shabby um all these cards are super fun too so pretty cool um but before we kind of do our little recap, let's talk about these big eggs because I did open up a couple of these um, before I got this awesome box from Toy Monster and Playwise. Um, I, I did find a couple of these eggs in the store. They have the same awesome artwork with the uh, pop art, what I'm calling it, pop art dinosaurs with the Jurassic Park Raptor and the T-Rex. Also has a lenticular eye that like blinks open and close. Isn't that cool? I mean, that's that's pretty clever. Um, and then it's got, uh, you know, a big dinosaur inside, stickers. It has, like, they you know, come in little containers that you open up each piece out, a collector guide, then a, a card. So I was able to open a couple of these up, again, before I did the review. Um, the first one I got was Triceratops, um, and it came with a super-sized card. So this is literally the same card as the mini card. It's just the full-size card versus the tiny little one. Um, the same exact card though and the figure is just huge it's just a giant triceratops it's super solid it's a heavy figure it's hefty um you're definitely getting your money's worth when you buy one of these eggs so this is a nice figure has every bit of detail as the smaller figures it's just bigger i mean for size comparison that that's how much bigger it is it's it's significantly bigger um version of the figure just um it's cool it's really really jumbo size so you get the triceratops was one of the ones you could get um and then you could also get Spinosaurus, which I know is a really popular one. It has a cool card, Spinosaurus Mega Mayhem. You can see it's got this cool metallic effect. Do I have it in a, a protective sleeve? I guess that's cheating. But you can see it's got um, like a metal finish on it too. All these big cards have this like special shiny finish. Reminds me of Pokemon a little bit. Got that metallic finish on there. But it's the Spinosaurus looking as the plane prepares to land in Jurassic Park 3. Pretty fun. Um, or maybe it's after it took off. I don't know. But uh, that's the Spinosaurus card. And the figure is brilliant. Um, I didn't think I was going to love it because I'm not a big Spinosaurus fan. But look at this thing. I mean, look at the detail on it. It's got this piercing eye. Its tongue is sticking out. Um, it's got the, all the classic paint color wash. Again, it's a hefty figure. It's big. I mean, look how much bigger it is compared to, like, the T-Rex of the main line. It's, it's a big figure. So that's 
pretty pretty cool um that it's just so big and so hefty and i i think the paint quality on these are just so nice again every tooth is painted the eye is perfect it's more than i can say for a lot of mattel figures these days um they just really went all out with the paint and they put it on accurately and it's not all kind of shoddy or anything it's just done super well so you get the you can get the triceratops you can get the um spinous from the big you can also get a t-rex which i had not opened yet maybe it's inside here we'll see um, or maybe I'll just hold out and get it um, some other way. Wink, wink. Um, I'm hoping one of my friends sends it to me, actually, so I don't have to open this, because I'd love to keep one of these eggs in package um, with any luck. But, but yeah, I mean, this is this is just incredible what, uh, what Toy Monster has put together for uh, the 30th anniversary this year. These little figures are so cool. Um, I'm just, I'm, I, I love all the the kind of homages to the classic paint um you know some of the new sculpts like the gallimimus and the baby raptor are super fun and the ones that they had existing like the raptor you know they, they added such a, a cool new coat of paint to it that it's like a whole new figure all of a sudden so um really cool stuff definitely um my favorite captive's wave so far easily my favorite captives wave so far and um all the more exciting because it came in this awesome jurassic park 30th anniversary box so again just huge thank you to toy monster for saying that out uh, playwise partners for saying that out um i love sharing this stuff and it's even more exciting when i get a, a fun box <laughs> to kind of wrap it all up and so i can't get all my just to stand up but you get the idea this um this collection is just so so cool and this stuff's all hitting walmart right now in the u.s and i'm sure it'll be available in other territories as well because captives has been pretty good about that um just an awesome awesome line for the 30th anniversary and as you know there's even more 30th anniversary toys coming out so i'll be sure to kind of get in the, the groove again and start reviewing toys definitely those 30th anniversary toys will be on the channel so stay tuned again thank you to toy monster and playwise partners for sending this over such cool stuff but i think that's all i got again i'm tim the collect jurassic thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.